Hey, it's Jeremy here. I'm going to be showing you how to use the Align tool in Illustrator CC. It's good because you're able to align objects, you can distribute objects, make sure they're neat and tidy, and it's also good if you're working with typography or maybe infographics and you really want to make everything neat and really pixel perfect. So it's really handy to use. So what I've got here, I've got this circle, and I've got my Align box panel here. What you do to open that, you go to Window at the top and then click Align, and then you'll get this opened up. So what we have here, if you don't have all these options, you can just go to the drop down menu and go um, show all options. As you can see, click that and it'll open up that. Also, you'll notice if you select an object, any shape or whatever it is, you will see you'll get some align options up here. So you can see I've got an align selection. But if I make a couple and I select those, you'll see they pop up as well here, which is pretty cool. So you don't always have to use the panel, but the panel is really handy. I keep it on my side anyway. So I've got a couple of these circles I'm just dragging out. And we're just going to test it out. So what we're going to do, if you select all objects and you can align to the horizontal center, you can align it vertically as well in the center, as well as, um, you know, top, bottom, left and right. So you can see here, if I click the vertical center, it's going to align those all vertically into the center like that. If I drag these out and if I want to do it horizontally, I can do that and it's going to align it to the horizontal plane. You'll also notice as well that when you make a selection, if you want to align it to the left, and I select all these objects, if I click this, it's going to align all the objects to the furthest object on the left. And the same goes with the right as well. So because the right, this one is the furthest to the right, and if I clicked, click align to the right, horizontal or right, it's going to align to that furthest object on the right. So keep that in mind when you're selecting objects. It also works for the um, vertical as well. So if I want to align to the top, it's going to align all the other objects to the most top object. And same as the bottom. So if I select all these objects, it's going to align to this bottom one here when I press bottom. Just like that. So that's really cool trick to know. So what we can do now as well, we can also change where they align to. So you can see this little box in the corner here. It's also up here as well. You can click this and go align to artboard. So I'm going to click that and now if I align it, it's going to align the objects to the middle. So it's really quick and handy if you want to align something to the center. So I'm going to drag this off and you can always align it to the center really quickly like that. So you don't have to worry about, you know, trying to get it right and figure it out yourself. It's all mathematical and it'll do it for you. So that's cool to notice as well. So you got aligned to artboard. You can also align to a section. You can also align to a key object as well. So maybe I have a key object somewhere over here and I've got heaps of circles. If I select everything, what you can do is that you, once you have that selection, you just click on the object that you want everything to align to. So I'm going to click on this circle at the top left corner. And you'll see now it's highlighted the object in a darker blue now as well. So you can see how the selection's made. And what I can do now is because it's going to align to the key object, as you can see, it's changed now. And if I click um, align, whatever it is, it's going to align everything to this object. So whether it's horizontal, vertical, whatever it is. So that's what I always do when I'm making big selections. And it doesn't matter what object, as long as you make the selection and then click on it, it's going to work. So that's pretty cool. So when we're distributing objects, what we can do now is distribute and make the spacing equal to all the objects we're using. So I'm just going to copy a few of these. So I've got the circles now. And what I can do, I can distribute these objects. So I want to make sure that when I'm doing it, it's on selection or key objects. So when I'm selecting these, what I can do now is I can distribute these. It's going to make the spaces in between the spa um, all the circles um, even. You can also do this horizontally as well. So I've got my circles like this, select them all, and then I can distribute um, horizontal, so so it's gonna, or vertical, sorry, and it's gonna make all these spaces even, as you can see, even though it's not aligned, and then I can just align it like that. So now we know that they're all aligned straight on the right path, and all these spaces are equal, so you're not guessing your work. So make sure you select that, and make sure it's on to selection. So, that's pretty good when distributing objects. You can also make a custom space as well. You can see here it's got distribute spacing. What we can do, we can go to key object and we're going to select this one on the right here. Just click that or click whatever object and we can go distribute spacing. So maybe we want to distribute it horizontally. We can name how much pixels we want. And then if I do that and click this, you can see how it's moving. And you can do how much whatever pixels you can type it in and click. So we know exactly that it's spreading the circles by 500 pixels each time. Or we can just do 10 pixels. 
or nine, whatever. And we know that this is nine pixels. So if you want to like a pixel perfect, you know, diagram or whatever you're working with, um, then this is really handy as well. You can also do it vert um, vertically as well. Select them all, select your key object and then do it vertically. So this is really how you use the align tool. It's really handy. I mean, you know, get used to it, play around with it. Um, but it's the best if you want to make your work really tidy and neat.